everyone, my name is Maddie and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below. It's been a while since I've done a video, mainly because I switched to TikTok. Um, my TikTok handle is below if you want to go follow. But today I'm doing a pack with me video type of situation because I am going to ZenCon. ZenCon is the annual Zumba fitness convention and if you're a Zumba instructor you can go it's down in Orlando Florida and this year it goes from August 8th through August 11th and I'm so excited I've been teaching Zumba for years I've never been able to go and this year I'm finally going I did a lot of research um, before I went about what to pack and everything but I never saw a dedicated packing video for Zincon. So I'm going to do one today and hopefully this can help somebody in the future if you want to go to a Zumba fitness convention and I'm just going to show you what I am packing. So I am going to bring my Lululemon sweater. I always like to have a sweater on the airplane because I, I do get cold. Um, so that is one thing I'm going to be packing. So I'm going to show you my luggages, what I'm wearing, everything like that. First thing I have is my Lululemon belt bag. I like wearing this just around just so it has my medication, my wallet, stuff like that, really compact. And it fits inside my backpack for when I go on the plane. So I have a hair clip, my medication, chapstick, and then um, my wallet, and then tissues, I have a pack of gum, hand cream, and then I have a portable charger. And that's just what I keep in here. Very um, plain Jane type of stuff. So this is that. I am wearing an all black outfit. Um, during the Norsham's anniversary sale, I got these Zaya, was, what's the brand? I think the brand name is Zella. I'll put the name and the link to these down below, but there's just joggers, like black joggers, they're comfortable. Um, I have just a top and then sports bra, obviously. And that's what I'm wearing on the plane. Comfortable, black, you can't go wrong. Okay, let me show you my gym bag. I got this about a month ago and I didn't do a review or anything on it because I knew I was gonna do this video. This backpack is the Athena bag and it's, called, it's from Pop Flex Active. It's actually black, but on the camera, it does have this purple blue shine to it. And I really like it because I do teach in the evenings and it gets dark. So then when I go out to my car, people can see me because this lights up and I'm visible. So I'm bringing an empty water bottle. Obviously, it's a fitness convention. I'm going to need it. On the bottom of this bag, you got two bottom straps and I like it because if you are into yoga like I am you can put your yoga mat on the bottom this also has a little place for your shoes now this shoe compartment is rather small you can fit some slides or some like pool sandals in there and they fit comfortably if you had really bulky sneakers I don't think they would fit just my opinion there. You got two side pockets right here with bungees. You got one pocket and I just have tissues and then I have like a sunscreen stick because I am going to Florida. And it I know it's hurricane season right now. Um, they did downgrade it to a severe storm weather. So if you are going to Zincon, in August, just know to bring some long sleeve and short sleeve, depending on the weather. 
And then this is just an empty pocket. Let's go on the inside. You got a little pull strap string. I really like this because I have my laptop sleeve right here so I can put my laptop in. I have my liquids bag. This is, I'm a pouch girly and I just have all of my other things I need like my inhaler, blotting pads. Um, I got soap sheets because sometimes when you go to the airport they're out of soap and then you're out of luck and you're like really I need soap I got a mini deodorant this is just like my catch-all in here I have um, extra underwear and socks and then in here is my electronics so I got cords and cables and everything in here um I do suggest when you're flying to bring extra underwear and also a change extra clothes just in case your luggage does get lost hopefully it doesn't um you have workout clothes for the next day in case you need it um if we turn around here you got two top pockets right here and i just have a collapsible tote bag sunglasses and then this is a key fob and then down here you will see two extra pockets and in here I just have my Zumba business cards I'm gonna hand out to everybody and then you also get two oh my gosh you can't see you get two side pockets on the inside so in here I just have sunglasses but yeah um this is not opening the way i want it to but yeah it's just right there and you have one of those on both sides i have been using this bag as my teaching gym bag for about a month absolutely love it if you don't like using a backpack they do have the same one but in a duffel and I think that one's called the Delilah bag. Um, I can link this down below as well if you're interested. But I really like it. Not only is it colorful and fun, but there's so many pockets. It was designed by a woman. And we all know women love pockets. So fantastic. I would definitely bring a bag that you can carry now at Zincon they do give everybody badges they give everybody convention t-shirts and um, a conference bag so I think last year it was like a fanny pack and the year before it was like a tote bag and it's great to get free stuff but everyone is going to be using the same bag right so the last thing you want is to switch all of your stuff over and then have someone accidentally take it because they think it's your bag. So that's why I want to bring my own gym bag. But at the same time, if you're one of those people who wants to use the bag that Zumba Fitness gives you, what I would do is I would buy ribbon or even a gym or even like a luggage tag to put on your free tote that they give you that way you can tell if it's yours or not I would highly recommend that um someone on Facebook suggested that to me so I did buy some extra luggage tags just in case I wanted to use that tote bag or my luggage gets lost or something okay this is my carry-on um, it's a 20 inch one and I like it because there's a laptop sleeve. I got this off of Amazon and I'll link it if you want it. I have my Kindle. I have all of my electronic charging cables in this. Um, I have like a little phone stand. 
tab. And then in here I have extra charging cables. And I also have my Samsung luggage tag. And this is hooked to my phone and my tablet. So in case I lose my luggage, um, I can find it. So this is what I have in here. Now if I open this up, I have a change of clothes. Just in case my luggage gets lost, I have an extra set. I also have pool slides. These are my Lululemon ones. Um, I have a pair of fancy slides because there's a pre-party and there's a theme party for ZumbaCon and they do have a dress code. So they basically said no athletic shoes. So I'm bringing the slides because it just makes sense. And then I'm bringing my Zumba shoes. So these are my Zumba sneakers. And I'm also bringing these ones as well. A lot of people told me to bring two Zumba shoes. That way you can rotate them and let them air out. Um, I'm also wearing my On Cloud sneakers. I'll post a picture right here. And I'm going to wear those to the airport. Um, just because I don't want to wear these ones to the airport. So, perfect idea. Um, but yeah, bring multiple shoes because you're going to want to air out the ones that you're sweating in and using. And then you will also um, want to bring stuff for the theme party and also for the pool. So, it's a great way to pack. Um, and as you can see here, I have a lot of room. So, I don't wear a lot of Zumba fitness clothes, brand specific Zumba clothes, because I don't necessarily like the way that they fit. But I do like buying their accessories, like their towels. Um, I do like wearing their zip ups. So, I don't, I don't think I'm going to buy a lot of Zumba specific clothes, but if I do, I have room in my carry-on to take them home with me. That's why this is not overly packed. And also, the airlines have a weight requirement, so it's 50 pounds. Keep that in mind when you're buying Zumba clothes and when you're packing, because the airlines have a weight limit of 50 pounds. Now, my husband's military, so if I bring my military ID, my weight limit is 70 pounds. So I'm very excited because um, I have extra weight. Now, I've flown alone before, pulled out my military ID, and I was still able to get my fee waived and use that 70 pounds. I don't know if that's the same for everybody. Um, so I would plan to stick to your 50 pounds or if you go a little bit over, have extra room in your carry-on so you can take stuff out. I weighed my bag. So I weighed my check bag and it's at 58 pounds. But um, if I need to, I can just take stuff out, put it in my carry-ons and I'd be fine. But I don't know if they would necessarily say anything to me just because I haven't had issues before. So, but this is my check bag. I, this is from Vase. Um, I did spend quite a bit of money on this suitcase, but I only get a new suitcase once every 10 years. So I feel like for the money, um, it's fine. I'm not worried about it. So let me open so I'm going to show you what's inside my check bag. I know some people don't like to bring a check bag, but I'm going to bring one and I'm going to put a luggage tag into it, like a smart luggage tag, um, just so 
I know where it is at all time. Here I have an LED mirror. Um, like I said before, I am doing a Zumba professional photo shoot so I can get professional pictures for my marketing. So I am bringing this to for like makeup and stuff. I have my Zumba hat. This is my only Zumba hat that I have. I do want to get maybe one more or like a bucket hat, but I feel like you need to bring a hat. This is an old Zumba towel. I do plan on getting more because I like to use these, especially since I teach Aqua Zumba and mostly I teach outside. This is my all-in-one bag that I put in my gym bag. It has everything I need, like medicine, um, a little ace bandage, Tums, blister, blocker, stuff like that. I always have this in my gym bag. Um, mainly, I use it for myself, but in case one of my students needs something, um, I can give it to them. In here, I like to use package cubes. I have underwear and socks. I would pack a little bit of extra of each, just in case um, you need to change out of your clothes, you need extra socks. I always heard that you need to bring extra socks mainly because um, your feet are going to get sweaty so it's nice to rotate your socks out. This is another um, luggage cube and I just have sports bras and um, workout clothes like my workout tops in here. Just like the socks, bring extra sports bras ladies because you will want to change out of those um, if you go full out and you work really hard during your workouts. I like to take notes and my, any, anytime I'm learning something new, I like taking notes. So I'm bringing just a small um, notebook. I'm also getting the Zumba Centeo license. So I printed out my training manual and I got it bound. You don't have to do this. I'm just a little extra, but I like doing this just so it opens up nicely and I can take my notes and I can write in this if I want to. Luggage scale for when I return so I can weigh everything. Um, sunscreen just because it's Florida. Now the theme this year is glam so I decided to do an all white type of situation. So I decided to bring these white pants and there is a dress code. So basically no jeans, no athletic wear, stuff like that. So this is why I'm bringing these. And then I'm also bringing this for the pre-party. These are just some nice pants that I have. Um, they don't take up a whole lot of room and they still look nice. Um, I know some people like to go out to eat. You totally can do that. Maybe just for like one night or something like that. So that way you have other clothes to wear besides athletic clothes. If you do decide to go out with like some friends. In here, I have a mixture of workout shorts, pajamas, I have like workout skirts in here. Um, I didn't go too heavy on bottom parts, like bottom wear, um, just because I do have a little bit of, I did bring one extra pair of pants and one extra pair of shorts, but that's about it. Um, it is raining season. We're going in August, right? So it's during hurricane season. I am bringing a poncho. Who knows? I might use it. I might not. But I'm bringing it anyways, just in case, in case this does not help me. Um, that way I have other options. Now, you don't have to bring a poncho. It's not a requirement, but I am and even if you don't use it at least you have it that type of thing swimwear um i am bringing two swimsuits i am taking an aqua zumba master class so i will be in the pool so i'm bringing two um depending on what i want to wear and also if i use the hot tub afterwards and then um my luggage came with two of these bags one of these I can use for dirty clothes the other one just for like shoes 
and I'm gonna bring those. So I'm really excited. I'm hoping I didn't overpack, but I am an overpacker. So I tried to go through everything and be like, do I really need this? Most of it I do, and I know I do, but I was thinking after the trip, I can refilm and do an unpacking and share with you guys what I used, what I didn't use, and if I was to just bringing that item when you go and visit. Next, I have, I always keep extra Ziploc bags, especially for liquids. You never know. I found these at Five Below, the Odor Busters. These are perfect for your dirty laundry. Just pop these in to help with the smell. Also perfect for your gym bag. Love those. This is just like a little pouch I have. And in here, I have my jewelry. In here, I have um, dirty clothes bag. Speaker. This is wireless, just in case I want to practice choreography. Um, an extra little baggy type thing. And that's all I have in here. Oh, I also have a small pair of insoles for my shoes. You don't have to bring extra insoles, but I do, just in case I don't like the ones that are given to me with my Zumba shoes. Um, and I also have in here something very useful is, are these. They're earplugs. When you go to the theme parties or when you go to the concerts and stuff at ZenCon, it gets really loud. You don't want to damage your eardrums, so make sure you bring earplugs. And I also have another Samsung tracker in case my luggage gets lost. I have this in here. If you do bring trackers like these, change out the batteries before you go on the plane. Make sure the batteries are fresh and they're working and everything is connected to your phone, your tablet, and whatever you need it connected to. Because the last thing you want to do is realize something isn't working and then go into anxiety mode. I already did one side of my luggage in these two compartments. Now let me open this up for you and we can do the other part. Water shoes. Like I said, I'm doing an Aqua Zumba Masterclass. I'm going to be in the pool. I don't like the feeling of touching the pool floor. Water shoes are a must for me. I have a little plate. Um, I do plan on eating lunch um, there and also eating dinner in my hotel. So it's just a little plate. Helpful. Doesn't take up a whole lot of room. I do have snacks. So I have protein bars and crackers. I do plan on having Walmart direct deliver groceries for me to the hotel. I already called ahead. They said it was fine, but you know, I am bringing just a little something in case someone takes my order or something like that. I do have resistant spans. I do plan on like going to the gym and doing my regular workout outside of my Zumba fitness stuff. So you don't need to bring resistance bands, but I brought them anyways. I have chia seeds and protein powder. It's optional. I like to have this with me when I work out. Here I just have makeup. I am doing a professional photo shoot, like I said. So in here I just have like my blush, um, my glow stuff from Fenty, primer, stuff like that like self-explanatory um a little travel cream um primer too you don't need to bring this stuff if you don't wear makeup don't worry about it i also have a bunch of mini makeup in here too like my mascara 
I have some cream blush in here. I have sort of highlighter. Like I said, makeup optional. If I wasn't doing the professional photo shoot, I wouldn't even bring makeup. Along with makeup, you need um, makeup brushes. So these are mine. In here, I have um, highlighters, pens, and then I also have a permanent marker. Permanent marker, sorry. Um, a lady suggested bringing this because you get a lot of free stuff at ZenCon, like a free tote bag, a free t-shirt, stuff like that. So it's good to write your name on things. Um, so she told me to bring one. Um, with the free tote bags that you get, a lot of people like using those during ZenCon. So when you have the same tote bag and everyone's using it, it's really easy for you to pick up somebody else's. So what I would suggest is to get an extra luggage tag and put it on your tote bag so then that way you know it's yours. Plain and simple. In here, I just have medication. I have an extra ace bandage. Accidents happen. You never know if someone's going to trip. Um, I got Tums. I have um, vitamin C packets to put in my water. I heard a lot that people tend to get sick. You don't want to get sick, so make sure you have, you know, stuff to take care of your body. Plain and simple. Flat iron if you do your hair, self-explanatory. In here are my toiletries. So toiletries for me include um, sheet mask, toothbrush, toothpaste, um, skincare routine, stuff like that. It's all in here. This is my hair stuff. Um, a lot of people suggested bringing dry shampoo, especially if you have one workout class after another. Um, sometimes, depending on how much your hair gets greasy, this is really good to have. And I even just got a little travel size. I would recommend that. But again, it just depends on your hair and what you like. This. This is a bike lock. A lot of people suggested bringing one um, when I was on the Facebook um, Zincon Facebook pages. A lot of people recommended it because, like I said before, people might pick up your bag and take it on accident. Or, I've heard this before, that if you buy a bunch of Zumba wear at like the Zumba store, people might take it. So if you leave your stuff, make sure you have a bike lock. This is a so, um, stow gel. It's a coffee mug. And so it's collapsible. I'm bringing this in here. This is actually a wet bag. So I do plan on putting my swimsuit in here if I end up using it. But in here, I have extra sunscreen. I don't think I need this much sunscreen, but I'm bringing it anyways. Febreze for your clothes. Um, ooh, Biofreeze. Bring it for your muscles. Um, just so I have foaming bath stuff. Just because TLC for me. I have some sheet masks in here. You know, just because you're working out doesn't mean you can't take care of yourself. Um, so I have a lot of TLC stuff. And I also have these liquid IV things. Um, do you need to bring all of this? Probably not. I'm probably, most likely I'm going overboard. I would definitely bring some Biofreeze though. And then I would also bring some Febreze stuff um, for your clothes. And that's my suggestion out of all of this. I would at least bring some stuff for your body. Here, I just have a digital camera. I am bringing my phone, but also in case my phone dies or I don't know, I run out of storage, extra camera, it's small and it fits. In here, this is just an index card holder, but I have shout wipes, I have Clorox wipes, you know, anything small and compact, I put it in here. I have an extra collapsible duffel bag. Do I need this? I don't know. Because I don't buy a lot of Zumba clothes, but if I do, it would be nice to have something extra to put everything in. 
But then again, I also have my carry-on bag that I could use. I think I'm still going to bring it anyways, just in case. You never know. Um, kinetic tape, especially if your muscles are sore. You probably need that. This is magnesium body butter. So I do take magnesium pills um, just for muscle relaxation, but it wouldn't hurt to get some magnesium lotion. I found this off of Amazon. This is a muscle massager and it vibrates. Um, I like to use this on my shoulders or like on my hips. So you don't need to bring a massager, but I'm bringing one fan because you know it's going to get humid. Um, these are shoe deodorizers. So you're going to be working out. Your feet are going to get sweaty. Put one of these inside your shoe like before you go to bed so it can, if it hasn't already removed the smell and everything, these will help. Um, the theme this year for the party is glam. So I got this at Target for like $3. Super cute. And in here I have tissues. I have like silicone rings. I have my dance socks. You put these over your shoes so then when you do dance on carpet, um, it's better for your knees and you can just move around a little bit better. I remember when I used to teach at like, I think it was a rec center, they put me in a place with um, carpet and I had to buy those and they worked great. I really like them. And here is another wet bag. I know I'm full of wet bags today. I have um, foot masks because your feet are going to be tired. And like I said, you want to take care of your feet. Um, I have Lysol disinfectant spray. And then I also have um, baby wipes. Someone suggested to bring baby wipes on the Facebook page. I think they've gone to like the Zumba convention for like three years. And they said, you know what, your face is going to get sweaty and gross. So just having some type of a face wipe or baby wipe is helpful. I don't know if I'm going to use it. I'll let you know. Um, this is my lunchbox. The classes, it's a long day. So you start at like 9 a.m., 8 a.m. You don't go and you go until 9. You might have a little bit of time to eat, but everyone told me to bring a lunchbox because if you end up doing what I'm going to do and you get food delivered from like Walmart, you can pack your lunch and save a ton of money. So in here, I just have a hair clip. This is a massager for my foot. You can actually get these um, at Target or you can get it on Amazon. Hairbrush. And then this is like my little bento lunchbox. And that's all that I have in here. Self-explanatory. You don't need to bring a lunchbox. Like I said, I'm bringing one just because I do plan on having food delivered to the hotel. So this will be helpful for me. And lastly, I'm bringing flax seeds and I'm bringing hazelnut creamer for my morning coffee in the hotel. And yeah, this is everything I am bringing to Zumba convention. Um, please let me know in the comments if you want me to do an after Zumba convention video, meaning I will unpack and I will tell you what was useful for my Zumba convention trip and what was not useful. That way you guys can decide what you want to pack if you end up going next year or the upcoming years. I just want to make sure I am helpful to people who um, have no idea what to pack or even if you're coming in um, internationally and you're limited on like how much you can pack that way you have an idea of what is useful to bring because the last thing you want to do is come with a bunch of stuff and then realize oh shoot I didn't even use half of it so 
If I can be helpful in any way, let me know. Because I would love to help everybody out um, if they need help. But yeah, this is everything that I have in my bag. Um, it is a little bit over the 50 pounds, but like I said, my husband's military. Um, normally, if you show your military ID, they waive the baggage fee, but they also let you um, go a little bit over on the weight. So instead of my weight requirement being 50 pounds for my bag, it's going to be like 60 or 70. And I'm not complaining there. But yeah, um, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if you guys have any questions, put them below. If you do want to see me unpack and share with you what was useful, what was not useful, let me know. And I'm more than happy to do that video for you. Okay, bye.